After seeing the massive amounts of oil on the engine and transmission, I decided to clean it up to see where it's actually coming from. I'm having a hard time telling because there's so much gunk on the engine and on the transmission. So I bought two things of engine degreaser and a $2 toilet scrub brush that I'm gonna use to agitate and get all of that nasty gunk off. In the front of the engine, there was so much gunk that I was worried about it getting on the belt and messing with the way the car drives. So I tried to play it safe and ended up cleaning the whole front of the engine with just a small metal brush, paper towel, and some elbow grease. It turned out pretty well, if I do say so myself. I then moved to the top of the engine because I had the intake off, so I decided to use a Scotch-Brite pad and spruce up the cam cover a little bit. Some thunder came through the area, so I had to put the intake back in the car. This is me taking it off a second time, and as you can see, it gives me a lot of access to the driver's side of the engine. Right here, I'm covering up all of the important electrical and intake components so that nothing gets shorted out. So, my phone overheated in this hot sun, but basically, here is a uh, soaked before. Um, there is a ton of oil. I scraped a lot of it with my uh, scrub brush that I bought, and I've soaked a lot of that oil down there. Um, and as we walk over to the other side, I've also tried to get down on this side of the transmission and the belt housing. And the motor down there as well is very gunky. So everything you see here is covered off is the, uh, the coil pack distributor, the intake, because I took out the uh, air box, the starter motor, and of course the alternator. Um, hope, I'm guessing those are all of the important pieces that can be affected by water. And they're definitely the pieces that I don't want to short out so in a few minutes, I'm going to come back out here and I will spray the car down with the hose very gently. Um, it is not hot. It is a cold motor and I have hose water that is also cold. So that's the next step in cleaning this motor off. With the first layer of degreaser on the motor and the first rinse of the engine, you can already see some pretty good improvements you can actually see metal on the side of the engine, which is pretty nice. Uh, after doing this, I repeated spraying down the engine with degreaser and then spraying it with the hose a few different times, working my way through the engine bay until finally I put the intake box back on and was ready to start it up. This is a pretty nice after picture, which shows the side of the motor all cleaned. Um, this was a very easy project for me, although very scary. I have heard plenty of stories of people soaking their motor, getting waterlogged, stuff like that. So I really took my time and was careful with it. When water got onto the top of the motor where the spark plugs are, I used a shop vac to take all of the water back out and finished it off with a couple of rags. I then took all of the plastic bags off of the alternator, coil, distributor, intake, and starter motor and got the car ready to start. What you see coming off the motor is all the old degreaser and leftover oil that's on the engine and transmission. This burns off, causing smoke, and it certainly doesn't look too good. My neighbors got a little scared, so I had a fire extinguisher ready. Here I'm doing what I like to call the towel test, where you take a white towel or tissue or piece of paper and hold it under your exhaust, being careful not to burn yourself, of course. This will let you know if there's any liquid coming out of your exhaust, which is good to know if you've started up a motor after a long, long time. 
Thank you for joining me, and hopefully you learned something. I certainly did, and I'll see you when I post my next video. Thanks.